The first time you take a cold shower, you might probably will feel very alarmed <laughs> at the idea of jumping into cold water. But when you do it many times, you might even come to crave it, even to the extent where you walk outside in a cold day and might even be snowing and you take off your jacket just to feel it. You believe that? Well, let's talk about it. This is a beautiful thought. Welcome, beautiful thinkers. Today I want to talk about cold showers. <laughs> Seems something kind of odd. Maybe it doesn't seem spiritual or something like that. Maybe it doesn't seem like cold showers or some kind of path to happiness. But there's a lot of interesting things about this. Of course, it's kind of a fad these days, especially with Wim Hof, the ice man, this fascinating man who developed these breathing techniques and became more in contact with his body, apparently learned how to activate his immune system, even in a laboratory setting and remove all, I think it was E. coli from his body. All this crazy stuff that, that Wim Hof can do. And a lot of the time it starts with cold showers. And I remember I was in England and staying in Leeds with some friends of mine. And what happened? The water heater broke. So for a week or more, we were without hot water. And it's like, it's winter. It gets pretty cold, you know, sometimes in Leeds. Uh, later on, it eventually got cold enough to snow. And so the guys are heating up water on the stove and taking that the kettle and pouring it into a tub so, so they can sponge bathe themselves and this kind of thing. And I'm like, well clearly have an advantage in this situation. I just walk straight into the bathroom and take a cold shower, even though it's, it's probably around 10 degrees C outside, maybe lower. And <laughs> uh, actually, I managed to convince my, my friend staying with me, Dan, or me staying with him, rather. I managed to convince Dan to take a cold shower as well. And he was like, you know, it's really cool, actually. Because when you take a warm shower or a hot shower and you step outside of the shower, you feel cold. But when you take a cold shower and you step out, you feel warm, which is interesting. I'd like to say that taking cold showers is this mini superpower because when it gets cold, people aren't used to the cold and people start shivering and they say they need blankets and jumpers and turn the heater on and all this stuff. And I'm standing there in a t-shirt <laughs> like, what's the big deal? <laughs> you know, or, you know, here's the crazy thing too. Just take cold showers for a while. And once you get used to it, you actually crave it. And I would walk around Leeds I'd be like, hang on, Wait, I'm wearing this jacket. I want to take this off because I want to feel the cold. And again, Dan, Dan is like, he's turned to me as like, you know, we'll see how cold you feel after five minutes. After five, 20 minutes, <laughs> I was still good. And it's not, I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to brag that I'm so cool for doing this. No, because it is actually something quite simple. But the difficult thing about it is the thought. So it's not that the taking a cold shower is that difficult. It's not. There's, there's nothing inherently difficult about it. Just as Shakespeare wrote, there's nothing good or bad except that thinking makes it so. So <laughs> when you're getting prepared to take a cold shower, I mean, you step back and you, you know, take it, some breaths or something, maybe even do those Wim Hof exercises like I did the, the first few times. But then when you get into the cold shower, it's, there's no problem. Well, once you get past that thought. So it is the thought 
that causes us discomfort is the fact that we resist. Uh, or I always remember there's that scene in the first series, uh, the first season of the OA. And it's the OA as a, a young child, like maybe around nine years old. And her father, this mob boss, is like, I'm going to show you how to not be afraid of the cold. And he takes her out and digs a hole into the ice. And he says, go in. Go into this hole. And the OA does go, goes into the hole. And the father says to her, what's the only way you can deal with cold? What's the only way you cannot feel pain in the cold? And she responds, to be more cold than it is. To be colder than it is. To be colder than the cold. And so some people have this conception that, say, if you're trying to keep warm when it is very cold, that you should try to imagine that you're actually hanging out by a toasty fire or something like that. Generally, I find that that is not the right way to go because that's actually driving you in the opposite direction. You're actually resisting more reality. You're trying to create this fantasy that avoids what you're going through. If you do the other thing and you say, I'm not going to resist, I'm going to feel the cold, I'm going to be colder than it is, actually, you start to feel pretty comfortable. You start to enjoy these adverse conditions that you're experiencing. It's pretty interesting. And so that's what we learn. It is this big lesson when we take a cold shower, that we can, if we can set aside our prejudices, if we can let go of our preconceptions of what an experience might be, then we might really enjoy it. And that's why I like taking cold showers. <laughs> Not always the easiest thing to do, but maybe try it. You might like it. Thanks so, thanks so much for listening, <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. A beautiful thought. Fantastic. So, if you enjoyed the podcast, feel free to share it with a friend and give them a little reason why they might like this episode. Check out the website, beautifulpodcast.com, my email address to send some constructive criticism, positive praise, fantastic feedback, Kurt at beautifulpodcast.com. Most importantly, have a good one.